Hey guys, what is up? It is Nick here, or aka Ponzarelli, back here with another YouTube video. And today is going to be a very different video. Today is going to be the video about my 8 month body transformation journey. Now this video is very special to me because I started working out roughly since I was around 14 years old, so I was an avid gym lifter for a while. Um, but that was mainly directed towards school, like if I go to the gym for PE or for, you know, when I used to run track and do soccer in high school. So it was very sport oriented back then. It wasn't something that was in my normal routine. In terms of my actual workout routines and stuff like that, in terms of starting my self-improvement journey, that was all the way back in September of 2021. So not even a year ago. And I have made a human, like a tremendous amount of progress in these past eight months. And I really wanted to share it with you guys here. And give you a little bit of a story behind all these videos, or my bad, these pictures. Now, this picture was before I started going to the gym and started self-improvement. This was around August of 2021, so this was about a month before I started working out. As you can see here, guys, I looked horrible. My legs were, not my legs, my arms were skinny, my chest was gross looking, my abs were starting to fade away, I didn't shave my beard, and my hair looked awful. I took this picture because I just looked at myself and I was like, yeah, I'm losing my physique. I'm losing my abs. I'm losing all these things. And it really fucked with my confidence, guys. I drank about over a pint of coffee every day, full of sugar, full of creamer and all this disgusting shit. I used to drink all of this and that's what I looked like. I looked fucking horrible, guys. And just for comparison, like, this was way worse than what I was before. So during this time, it was like, this was probably my lowest of the low in terms of my physical well-being. Unless you're counting COVID during July of 2020, then those were probably the darkest times of my life. But in terms of my physical appearance, man, this had to have been the worst. Utterly terrible. If you can see the little line scroll up through here, that is because I'm opening up multiple tabs to show you different pictures of my journey. That is a smaller picture of before. Here you go. This was after the first day I went to the gym. This was September 4th, 2021. So this was the first day I went to the gym. As you can see, I've gotten a little bit chubbier. This is my first week of college, so you can see I'm now in the dorms. On my last picture, I was back at my parents' house or my mom's stepdad's house. And I'm starting to look a little bit better because, you know, I've been opening up to college and everything, but I still don't look too great. As you can see, I was roughly around 160 pounds here, so I... Pretty, pretty good for my height. I'm around five foot nine, so it wasn't an unhealthy amount of weight. Definitely looks better than uh, this picture right here. So yeah, just for a comparison, I'm starting to look a little bit better, but just probably because I shaved and everything like that, my hair just looks better. But my physique is still relatively the same as it was back in August here. So this was the start of my self improvement journey, and I pretty much said fuck this about the life that I was living. I was living a very rough life on um, not getting anything I wanted and I was getting sick of the life I was living. So this was the day I started self-improvement and the day that started it all. This picture is interesting. This was mid-September and this picture is so interesting because during the beginning of my fitness journey, I actually believed that I needed to cut weight because I thought I was getting too thick. And as you can see, guys, I look a lot skinnier on this one. Like just compare like, I, I lost hella weight in this picture. That's because I'm 150 pounds. So I lost 10 pounds in the span of, like, three weeks. And as you can see, I don't really look much more shredded. I just kind of look smaller than I did before. Um, and, you know, I read the treadmill a lot. I was burning, like, over 3,000 calories here. And overall, I looked I looked pretty okay. Like, I look, you know, if you didn't see my progress pictures, you want to thought, yeah, this guy looks pretty all right, you know, not too bad, not too shabby. Um, definitely can tell that I lost a lot of weight though. This is when I start to make more progress in terms of my physique. This was in October of 2021. So this was about roughly around a month later. And as you can see, I decided to shave my chest hair and my body hair. So that's kind of why I have a more cleaner look. And this is around the time where you can really tell that college really helped me become healthier because, because as you can see, compared to this picture right here, my, my bad, this picture right here, I look very puffy around the face. So in just comparison for um, this picture right here, you can tell that my, my jawline looks a little bit more defined. You can tell that my 
cheekbones are a little bit more a little bit more thin. So, you know, you can tell my body fat percentage has been going down since hell, even this picture right here. My body fat percentage has been going down. My face has been looking a lot cleaner. So I would say that this is a pretty solid look. But as you guys can tell, I was looking pretty skinny around the arms, especially as you can see right here. So in terms of my bulking phase, I've snuck at this point, I was still kind of cutting. And um, you, as you can tell, like my bulking phase has not begun yet. So I still look a little bit skinny. I think I was around 153 here. So I haven't gained much more weight compared to the picture before. This is just another picture of me back in October. As you can tell, it's kind of skinny, especially around my obliques and stuff. My abs look pretty solid, but um, off to the next one. Interesting story here. So this was in December. Now, the reason why I didn't add November onto this list is because I actually stopped working out for the month of November. It wasn't because I was getting lazy. It wasn't because I was, you know, having withdrawals. I was relapsing and not going to the gym. It's because... At the end of October, I was told by my doctor that I ended up getting mononucleosis. <laughs> I made a video a while back called I Need to Stop Fapping and Having Sex. I did lose my virginity in September of 2021. So I was hanging around with multiple girls, obviously still staying protected and everything. But I did end up getting mono. And they told me that my spleen could potentially be swollen. And if I went to the gym, I could rupture my spleen and I would die. So I wasn't able to work out for a whole month. And this is me back in the gym. Um, this picture was around December 7th, 8th, I would say. So this was a little bit before I moved down to Florida for winter break to go see my dad and my twin brother. And as you can tell, I was definitely gaining a little bit of muscle. My abs were looking very solid during this time. I was having a very, um, tough ab regime, meaning like my ab workouts were very tough and very, very brutal. Now, this picture, as opposed to these pictures before here, the difference between these pictures and this one right here is because this is the time where we actually started to get a workout routine and all the other times before. So for the first several months of my workout journey, I did not have a workout routine, meaning I did pretty much anything in the weight room from, I, w I used to do curls and then I did dips. I did like a bunch of weird shit. Like I did biceps and triceps and I do like some legs and abs and Oh, no, not legs, actually. My legs are already big as fuck. I do, like, some weird exercises, and I really didn't have a strict routine. This picture is around the time where I started doing push-pull abs. So, I do a push day, so I do chest and triceps, and then pull day, which would be back and biceps, and then abs. Of course, self-explanatory. As you can tell, my ab muscles were looking a lot better here, and my V-taper was finally starting to kick in. As you can see, my lats have already been growing pretty tremendously from the previous pictures. This is around the time I would say my physique has started to look very good. Um, this was January of 2021. So, my bad, January of 2022. So, this was after Florida and I went back to university. And as you can tell, my delts and my shoulders especially started to look a lot bigger. That's because through most of my Florida time, I didn't do any pull exercises. I did only push. So, I was really working on my lats and I was really working on my... Uh, not my lats, my traps, my shoulders, and my chest. So a lot more progress here. I've been looking a lot better. My hair looks very clean. This is when I was working out tremendously. In this picture, I was roughly around 156 to 158 pounds. So I have been gaining weight, and this was the start of my bulking phase. Right here was January. So this was the start of my bulking phase right here. I'm looking very quite nicely, I would say, in terms of my bulking progress. As you can tell, my muscles and my lats and stuff look a lot bigger. My delts are fucking massive in this picture. Overall, I'm looking a lot better and a lot healthier. So January 2022. This was in February. And as you guys can already tell, I the bulk is working, guys. Like You can tell I've been bulking quite tremendously in these pictures here. Um, you can tell my neck was looking a lot better. My abs look better. My chest fucking huge in this picture. This isn't me dick riding. It's just compared to my other pictures. As you can tell, my arms look a lot bigger. This was around February of 2022. So this was a month after uh, this picture right here. So as you can tell, my bulk is looking quite nicely. I was around 160 in here. So this one was 158, 156, 158. This was 160. So my, the bulk was looking very, very good, I would say. February 2022, I was doing the push-pull abs workout. As you can tell, my abs look 
quite a bit better than they did before in the previous pictures. This is another picture from February, just, you know, just to kind of show off my lats a little bit. As you can tell, uh, which picture is it? Uh, you can see my lats around here, you know, I look a little bit skinnier. You know, this, you can tell I've been bulking, guys. Bulking fucking works. Don't ever cut if you need a bulk. Just putting that out there right now. If your arms are small, even if you are skinny fat, I recommend you bulk first. This was around March, so it looks relatively similar to these pictures right here. Um, I used to work, I used to work out around six days a week. These pictures are a little bit different because I was working out six days a week. Now, for the month of March and the month of February, I was still at 160. So in this picture, I didn't gain much weight. The reason is because I kept burning a lot of calories. I used to work out six days a week. Now I reduced it to four. So after this picture, I reduced my workout weeks to, or workout days to four, four workouts a week. So four days a week for working out and it's working so far. And I'll, um, show you guys here in a second, but, um, I started eating a little bit more. My bulking started to get a lot better after this, but as you can tell, I look relatively the same compared to March and April or my bad March and February. So there's March of 2022. This is the month of May, so this is actually a picture I took last week, and yeah, you got my V V lines there, <laughs> fuck bro, yeah, so this is basically me now, and as you can tell, I my arms have gotten a lot bigger, my V taper looks fantastic now, my abs looking a little bit better, I gotta shave my chest hair and stuff, of course, I look a little bit dirty in the chest, and you can tell I grew my beard out for a little bit, gotta shave that as well, but this is when I started working out four days a week, I started eating a lot more, and in this picture, I'm 164 pounds, so the bulk was working really, really well, and it still is to this day, so this is me now, this is month eight of my workout journey, you could include nine if you count November, but I really don't, honestly, because I didn't work out for the month of November, but this is pretty much me, guys, me now, and just for a comparison, I have a picture of me between August of 2021, where I was 160. Yes, I was 160 pounds. Compared to me now, I'm 164. So, fuck. Same room. Same room before university, after university. You can tell my shoulders especially probably have the biggest progress. My shoulders have just absolutely improved. It's a body recomposition at its finest. And I can't wait to make another one of these videos in the future, honestly. I'm so excited to do that. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And click the notification bell. <laughs> nah, no, but um, guys, on a real note, this is you. This could be you. The eight months are going to fly by anyway. Why not start working out now? They're going to fly by anyway. What's the point of waiting? Start working out now. And I'm telling you guys, this is just proof that it works. And it's not my genetics, guys. It's literally just hard work and good dieting. I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys later.